Searching for answers on your retirement? Welcome to Morning Coffee Thoughts with Chuck Oliver. Well, there's two tax systems in this country. Be sure to be picking the right one. See, one's defined as for the uninformed and one for the informed. In fact, former uh, Judge Leonard Hand said, there's two tax systems, one for the informed, one for the uninformed. Clearly one that's informed pays less tax and those that are uninformed pay higher tax. He said, anyone may arrange his affairs so that his taxes shall be as low as possible. He is not bound to choose the pattern which best pays the treasury. Folks, it's time to realize that taxes are going to have to head higher. Uh, tuning into any Democratic debate or seeing uh, the uh, de Blasio uh, comments as well as the established web- website that he attempted tax the hell out of the rich clearly indicates as well as the fact that the Hill reports that health care fight among 2020 Democrats shifts to taxes. Taxes are playing a leading role in the health care debate that's dividing the field in the 2020 Democratic presidential candidate candidate race. Centrist candidates are actually criticizing their own Democratic opponents in their own party on the left who support the single-payer proposal known as Medicare for All, arguing it's too expensive and it will hike taxes. In fact, even Bernie Sanders himself, who proposed this plan in an interview with the Washington Post this past month, said it will cost between 30 and 40 trillion over the next 10 years. Folks, that translates into higher taxation. See, you can you can tax people more on the level of companies, right? Uh, de Blasio is calling for a 70% tax rate on a personal level. He's calling for a 40 to 50% corporate level. But see, if you raise taxes on companies, folks, that's a silent tax that gets passed on to you and I through higher costs of goods and services. You can try to socialize health care and Medicare with the Medicare for all and universal health care, right? But that's a, a tax increase indirectly by forcing someone to pay higher premiums. Right. And you can even go as far as these Democratic candidates are pushing for a financial and transaction tax and tax Wall Street. But then everyone's returns with higher taxes, being or higher tax in the form of tax costs of these transaction fees result in a lesser return. Right. On top of already the uncertainty of what's going on in our markets, which means we can take a lesser percentage out, which means we have to figure out a way to live on less. And then, of course, this collective IOU that we've been rising Uh, steadily for decades, right? That even under Trump has caused the debt to climb over $2 trillion, right? Is obviously someone's going to be left holding the bag, having to pay for that. So now the IRS has figured out a way to concoct what's referred to as the secure tax, which basically taxes our inherited, inherited IRAs to our children and grandchildren to the max. Let me give you a great example of Ed 72 and his wife, Julie. Here with me, and I'll make this very quick that he said, you know, Chuck, I've become what you write about in your book. I've actually become the IRA retiree tax trap participant. I'm actually paying more tax only two years. I worked up till 70. I've been, I'm paying more tax now in retirement with my required distributions forcing me into a higher marginal bracket. 85% of my social security is being taxed and my Medicare premiums have all increased for my wife and I. And I'm very concerned about what I can leave my two sons because at the end of the day, as you talk about, most of us boomers have saved all of our money in tax deferred accounts. Folks, I think I'll leave you with this that the comedian Chris Rock, I believe, said best. He said, you don't pay taxes, they take taxes. Folks, we teach you how to stop the taking. Learn how you can reduce your taxes, improve your net cash flow by instead of overpaying Uncle Sam, keep that money in your pocket. They don't, you don't pay taxes, folks. They take the taxes. You can stop the taking. Ready to learn more? Visit retirementprotected.com. That's retirementprotected.com.